I'm at Pleasant Grove Church down here in Unabama, Mississippi. Anyway, I got a call about a week or two ago about some skunks getting up on the sanctuary. So, let me get this little light right here. <laughs> get that little light. Anyway, so I finally got in here. I've been having so much going on. I hate to even keep putting them off, but I have been. So, anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. First of all, we just got a... This is, I believe... This is where the skunks are going in. It doesn't take much for a skunk to get in somewhere. Just basically like a rat, they need to be able to get their heads. You can see that's kind of broke right there. You can see that's kind of normal vent going up under there. So what I did is I come in here and I set a trap. Set one of them old Duke traps right there. And then I set one right here. Now, you're probably wondering like, why do you have the bricks on top of it? Well, what it is is unlevel ground right here. So. What I wanted to do was make sure it's steady. See, this time of the year is breeding season, right? And I'm gonna be talking to you while I'm getting my old lure out. It's breeding season. What a what a skunk does is he gets in my hair of my females. Well, I say I was gonna get this over. He gets in my hair of my females, finds them a place to shack up, lay up, and then uh, they just come in and out. And uh, well, we can't be doing no dirty at the church, you know, so hey, we be cutting that. So anyway, got me a fresh batch of that caught by the yacht uh, lure. You can get that lure at oldsouthlures.com. Uh, this fresh batch still got it in the mason jars. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of that lure. And I'll put that in there. Dribble just a little bit. Give him a little sign, line to walk him on up in there. And I mean, y'all seen this before. Like I said, that's just a lure. We got cat food. They love that dry cat food. And also, I just put one way on out here, away from it. I put one way out right here. And all this is is just a, a little extra. We'll catch one of them old coming to it. So it's cold, it's windy, rain like crazy, last night flooded. So, but I'm here today and hopefully we're going to get them caught. So, any which way, <sighs> they can be up here. Praise the Lord, Sunday morning without that old smell. So, any which way. Y'all stick with me in the next couple of days. Maybe we'll have something. If we don't, oh, they better get another trapper. <laughs> but I think we'll be all right. If that's where if that's where it's going in at, we're going to get them. We're going to get them. So y'all stay tuned. Like I said, oh, I was trying to get back. Let me, I put them bricks on top. Keep that thing steady because it's unlevel right there. And what it is, if they're going to be coming in here uh, wrestling a little bit, there might be some bumping going on. And I don't want to, uh, to bump the cage down with all that racket going on. So any which way that bricks will kind of hold the trap more steady, won't shake as much. I'll come in here in the morning or whenever we catch, whoop, put the cover on them, put them in the truck, take them down the road, knock them in the head and they stink somewhere else. <laughs> any which way, y'all stick with me. Let's see what we got in the next couple of days. Ooh, it's cold, it's cold. So I'm back at the church. I caught, uh, I caught a couple of feral cats this morning and uh took them off but uh, uh you know feral cats are just as bad they come around and they'll pee on everything and had a church smelling like urine around here so took them off but i come to the other side i talked to the, a guy from the church and he said that they've been seeing uh they saw the skunks go in on this will be the east side of the church not the west side uh, around the air conditioning unit as you can see they got great around here as well so what i did is i come in and put a tri duke trap right there and then i put one right over here so uh which the wind's coming out of the north here so and i also i put the dry i put the dry cat food and i know i use dry cat food uh for about anything catching wise there's so much like a protein in that cat food if, if you'll notice a lot of times you can feed your dog dog food but he always will go to that cat food and eat it up it's just a different uh protein different taste and they just they just go after it and about every animal does and uh, of course you know i got that caught by the y'all you can see it's really thickened up right there you can really see the fattiness uh in that in that right there so as, as it gets colder it gets thicker so i had to put a little uh, uh glycerin or something to, to keep that from freezing up but like i said that's fresh back so any which way y'all stick with us because we're in the church and we try to keep the smell down and the savings of souls up <laughs> oh we'll see you on another cold day Woo. Ooh, it's cold. Any which way we got a big little, little ice adventure coming in the next couple of days, but any which way we're gonna pull up at the church. I moved the trap, I told you the other day, so uh, let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Look at he waiting on us. He waiting on us. Hey, 
Okay. Let's see. Let me get out of here. Oh, put a truck in park. <laughs> the day the Yoda went through the church. <laughs> oh, so what I don't really like about spots like this is the fact that it's next to that air, a, AC unit. And if that AC unit was to pop on, it could spook that thing. So, uh, and it may have already done got used to it. But anyway, and then again, it may be an old unit and not, and not using it. So, any which way, we caught the skunk that goes up under the church. It's a pretty little thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it right there, boys. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little jumpy. He didn't like me standing up. So. <laughs> he caught by the yoke. So any which way, I got to figure out how to get him in the back of my truck. As you can see, it's, you can see that's, I don't know if you can tell, that's ice. So uh, we'll get him back there and uh, See if we can't get him out of here. Let me set this camera up. Whew. I do not want to get sprayed again. No, sir. So I guess we him. I guess I'll be singing to him. Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere I go Tell it on the mountain Jesus Christ is wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is born. Lord be with me, I don't want to get sprayed. Part was that tower kept blowing the wind. So, anyway. It hasn't seen a spray yet. So, close it down. Well, I was going to use a hammer to cover that. Put my hammer up on that bucket, I'll shake it too much. Any which way. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta hold your breath when you do it. <laughs> well guys, you've seen it. We got it, that was easy. A lot of times you can cover those things up before. People have used trash bags to go on and cover up uh, the trap and whatnot. But the thing what I've seen is they're gonna pull through there and they're gonna tear all that down anyway. Tear all that open through the night, trying to reach through the trap, stuff like that. But as of right now, we got this skunk. As you know, that unit cut on right there, but it was real quiet, so it worked out. But any which way, we got this skunk. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's the only one, but we'll come back oh, with more traps and set them next couple of days. Uh, today is Saturday, so tomorrow's church, so uh, I could trip these traps so they don't catch nothing in the morning, so when they come here, a bunch of kids won't uh, mess them up. So I don't know. We'll see. I may trip them just so church... Uh, they don't have a skunk at the church in the morning because I don't get here in time. So, any which way, y'all seen it. Come by the y'all. I hope y'all have a good one. God bless you. And as always, Jesus loves you. Oh! <laughs> Ooh.
cool it's cold it's like 27 this morning with a little wind chill of 100 miles per hour negative 14 million good oh too damn it is i told my girl i just want to wear them thick socks Hey, look at that damn. It's so cold, the music finally just started. Who wanna start? <laughs> oh man, got me a little mocha. Ah, got a little of them, I don't know, the praline pecans or whatever. Woo! Ain't good. Anyway, like, freezing cold. We're gonna go over here to the church. Where we call a stop. We're gonna go back. See if we got another stop. Our church got canceled today. I don't know if this church got canceled. Uh oh. Oh. I look for my bed sheet. <laughs> I gotta cover up. I gotta cover the stump. But uh, I don't know if this church got canceled, but we're gonna go see. Y'all know the deal. Stay with us. <laughs> Where? Like, yeah, we got a skunk. Let's see. Hold on just a minute. I'm holding the phone and driving, but I ain't too bad of a situation. I'm going back in here. Cut the lights off so I can see my backup camera. So I got this, as y'all can see right there. Church is in swing, and I got a skunk right on the side of the sanctuary. On the side of the sanctuary, well, you know, y'all. I told y'all the first night, so we're gonna try to get him loaded up here shortly. Oh, it's freezing. Get him in the back of the truck and get out of here. Hopefully, we don't get anything sprayed while the church is in service because if it does, it's gonna suck right up in there. I can hear him praying in the mat. That's what we're gonna do here. See if see it or not. So, that's what you see. Load this baby up, get this in, and uh, that's another skunk down. Ain't no bumping on church grounds. Come on, <laughs> but I made it to the next spot. I'm telling y'all, see, I don't ever wear big coats like this unless I'm hunting. I'm telling you, it is freezing. And I know a lot of y'all up north, y'all used to it. Let me explain something to you. I ain't used to it. Y'all can't handle the heat, we can't handle the cold. <laughs> anyway, I do not want to get out of this truck, but I'm going to. I'm going to. Anyway, you have to see. So I'm, I'm oh, trying not to show too much of that over there. Oh. Anyway, oh. Uh, 
There he is. He's sitting there. Big scene, man. Anyway. I'm actually coming over here to uh, move a hog trap and get it out. So any which way. As again, I know we thought we ended the video a while ago. I had already had it, had it edited and ended it with my my signature ending that everybody's in love with. <laughs> no, just playing. Now, whoo, look, my my hat done flew off because my ego done made my head so big it won't even stay off. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, to leave the landowner a surprise here. I'm going to take this skunk. I'm going to take him right over there. I'm going to bite you out, knock him in the head. <laughs> and let the aroma, the perfume, it's Valentine's Day. Let the aroma of love just flow through the air. <laughs> I mean, really, it's going to rain. Oh, I'm talking too much mess, talking too much mud. But any which way, we headed on. Y'all know how it is. This is the end of it. If I catch another skunk, I ain't going to show you. <laughs> but I got to get my hog trap out of this bottom. And that'll be a whole nother video. Come on. Smelling so good. Smelling so good, oh. smelling so good, 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 smelling so good, ow, smelling so good, ow, smelling so good, smelling so good, smelling so good, smelling no good, smelling so smelling so good. Smellin so good. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, the way he gonna get knocked in the head, better fend you. <laughs> Three thirty-one Washington Street, West Point, Mississippi. I'll knock you in the head too. <laughs> anyway, you way. Y'all have a good one. God bless and as always. Jesus loves you. <laughs>